Hello everybody, Infinite Shinjo here, and welcome back to Pokemon Pokeverse. And I am here with a team that, in the span of 5 minutes that I checked, I think I'm going to train up to 20, just to be on the safe side. So, I'm going to need 3, 6, 9, 12. I'm going to need 12 rare candies. Because this episode is probably just going to be me going through Mount Moon and checking the other mods that are in this area. But... I hope you enjoy this series, and I'm just going to speed through this so you don't have to see it. But I, like I said in the last episode, it was a game that I wasn't too fond of the first time I played it. So it's it's kind of a weird feeling that it's a game that you guys really enjoyed, but I didn't. But I mean, like, the whole trolling thing was really the only reason I didn't like it that well. So I mean, like... With walk through walls cheat on, I can basically do whatever I want, more or less. So, let me see if Tortic of All is at 20. It does, okay. That's kind of the main reason I wanted to level up everybody to 20, because I had a feeling. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, it looks kind of the same, which makes sense because it's Combuskin. Okay. Alright. Interesting. I mean, I I enjoy it. So I mean, like, it's cool. And I have a grass type to handle Misty. I didn't actually realize that till now. Although I have two electric. You evolved two. Okay. Um, what's his name? Steeny. Yeah. I really like Steeny in the Sunny Moon anime. So I hope they do it justice here with a fairy type. Oh my gosh. I believe that deserves to be part of the thumbnail. Let me get it taken care of. Uh, there we go. I'm not sure if I'm going to actually use it for the thumbnail, but I got it. Okay. So I got two new evolutions, so let's see if they change types. Still a grass type. Still a fairy type. Let me actually look at their stats, because I didn't do that last episode. Okay, so cell pin's more special, which is makes sense. You're more special. You're more physical, of course. You're more physical. And you keep flame body. That's actually pretty good. So, like, I know that this game is probably going to take liberties with a lot of mons. But, like, normally Steeny evolves by learning Trop Kick. So, I wonder how they're going to change that. I'm not sure if they will. Because they can still technically learn Trop Kick in a way. They just have to get a different animation for it in this game because it doesn't normally exist in this game. Bulbasaur! I'm sorry I left you. Uh, what was your type? Like, rock ground or something? Oh. Oh, just go for Ember already then. Well, that worked out well. I mean... Let me just switch, I suppose. I'll go for you, because you're electric and, f and water, if I'm not mistaken. Which is cool. Honestly, I hope they keep that typing on it, because that's a pretty good typing. And it can probably learn Surf. I'm thinking long game here. I didn't even realize it, but I kind of am. Yeah, everybody gets experience, even though they don't really need to. Because I can just work candy him anyway. You had to use the mod that I have. <laughs> Oh, boy. Of course, to be fair, I've seen all of them now. Because somebody else had Trico and Mudkip. I'm sure they did that just to be on the safe side, because everybody probably saw the Hoenn starters back on the other route. Did I battle you? I didn't. Okay. So, I don't know if I need to check anything else on this route. I probably will just to make it quick. Oh, it's a double battle. Whoa! I think I picked the best two mon- Speed boost? No, 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 no. Oh, bubble hits both. Why don't I just go for that? So... Does that mean that- Does that mean it's a Gyarados? What experience? Dude, really? 
How much you want to bet he has? Okay. Not gonna lie, I like that Feebas. So, I don't know if Mon changed their abilities here. But, like, am I to assume that it becomes a Gyarados with speed boost? Oh, and I copied your speed boost. That's right. I guess I can just hit him like this. Because, like, if it ends up being a Gyarados with speed boost, that's just disgusting. That's just broken. One experience for this, too. Although, honestly, if I... If I had to choose between the two, just from what I'm seeing right now, I... I actually like the Feebas better. Obviously, it might change by the time that it evolves, but... I really like the Feebas. I don't know, I'm assuming a fairy type. So... It's pretty cool. But I get another speed boost. I didn't realize how broken Trace would be on you. I can just take any ability that you got. So he literally has all fishes. Fish. Kind of in the mood for fish. Yeah, if you would have had new mods. Hello. If a Pokemon box, yeah. I think I battled you. Yeah. Okay. So how am I supposed to actually get through here normally? I mean, I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, so what do you have? I've seen a couple of new mods so far. And then there's Trico. So... Let me check something. Because if it has Torrent. I wonder if it's even a poison type. Because honestly, there are water types that learn poison moves that aren't poison themselves. Or it might become poison when it evolves. I think you're water type as well? I'm guessing water rock. Judging from how it looks. But, like, at the same time, I can't really just have that be a judge because they can just throw me for a curveball. Like, Selpin here, in its regular normal form, I thought it was going to be a uh, water type, but it isn't. Alright, let's see what you got. But, yeah, like, that that post that uh, Cosmic Wing made on Discord, their team had Monferno on it. And, from what I saw, you can get Monferno... In Cerulean City. So I'm really looking forward to that. And that certainly isn't the reason that I'm rushing to get there. Oh, is it Grass Fire? Huh. Let's try it. I don't know if Fire resists Fire. I don't know how that type matchup works. So, so far nothing new. Which is kind of upsetting. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Back up. What did I try to use? It's a fire ground type. That means you're perfect prey for my water type. And even if it tries to go for Mud Slap, I have Levitate. That's actually kind of broken. Because, like... If it evolves into an Altaria with a water electric typing and levitate, that's kind of disgusting. I really like it though. I notice I'm using disgusting to, to describe a lot of things. I don't know if that means anything for me or not. Magby's here. Cool. Is there anything new here? I would assume not since it's still the same route. So let me get out of here. Alright, what's up here? Is there anything new? Magby, no. Did this girl just... I think this girl was just on the ledge. Actually, I did kind of... No, I'm not even going to get into that. So, I wonder if she has anything new. If she doesn't, Snivy? You know what's weird? I don't know if I'm just losing my mind, but I could have sworn that I've seen this before. It's a water type, not an ice type. You know, that actually makes sense. So I guess starters just switch their types. 
I guess any trio probably would. So that's cool. I mean, I should have been I should have been tipped off when it said it had torrent. So, yeah, technically I probably should have known that. So that's interesting. But yeah, so far from what I've seen, besides the fact that the puzzles are ridiculously broken and stupid, I really like this game. I don't think he battles me normally. No. Okay. I know that you can find, like, Jigglypuff or Clefairy here normally. <gasps> it's the boy! It's the good boy! Oh! You have Hustle. That's actually kind of disgusting, but sure. Oh, I just realized that copied your Hustle. <laughs> oh, no! Bite. Okay. What are the odds that it's just a normal type? Honestly, if it's just a normal type, I might just drop it. Oh, what was the name? Um, crap. Oh, let me switch into Combuskin, because you have status stuff. Uh, let me check while I'm doing this. Because in Yu-Gi-Oh, there was a season four that revolved around the Oricalcos. And in that said season four, there was two people and there was a dog. And actually crazy enough, it looks pretty similar to Rock Ruff right here. I want to say its name is Sky, but I couldn't remember. Let me check. Although at the same time, it's weird because Aoi in Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains is named Sky? Sky Wolf. There we go. Um, that's not it. Uh. Are you serious? Sky. Here we go. I think that's the name. Yes. Oh, it's based off of Silverfang? That's right, Ironheart and Chris. I remember now. Yeah, like, just look it up on Yu-Gi-Oh, on Yu-Gi-Oh, anything. On any, I, I'm assuming it's able to be found anywhere. Although at the same time, I had to do a lot of searching with it. But there's a dog in... Wait, when did you wake up? But there's a dog in the fourth season of Yu-Gi-Oh. And his name was Sky. And it, t Rockruff just looks like Sky. Although at the same time, I could just call it Silver Fang because it's the same thing. And I actually didn't know that. I sh probably should have, but I didn't. And I probably should use the Master Ball, but I'm not. Although, you know, it's weird. I've encountered Mons, but I haven't found a Shiny yet. I don't know how common it actually is. Oh, no. Hmm. Well, now comes a decision. Do I risk it all and go for a Pokeball, or do I just throw a Master Ball? I'll let you know after this. I have to use the bathroom. Later, in the void. I'm going for it. And I mean going for it, I mean going for a Master Ball. There's just no reason why I wouldn't, because it's literally a Mon that just doesn't want to get caught. Alright, so mountain... Okay, so that's all that it has for information. Cool. So, like I said, I am just going to name this Sky. Which, honestly, although I could have probably named it Raiko from Lightsworn Dog Thing. I can't think of it. But I like the name Sky. It's a nice name. Let's see what Sky is about. What did I say? What did I say? Why me? Okay, let me get to the Pokemon Center. Really? You have a... Why would you have a maze to get to the Pokemon Center? Perfect. Alright, let me go in here. And yes, that's definitely the way to go in there. So I think it's that guy over there on the left that gives me the Magikarp. Assuming it's still a Magikarp. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Excuse me. That guy's broken too. Hello there. Magikarp. Yeah, sure, I'll get a Magikarp. Is it Ganky? 
I got a Genki. Well, if you know anything about me, you know I like my anime, and you know I like my Genki. Although I know that's not the same thing. Genki is from, like, um... I can't think of the name. There's, like, a, a game that's competing with Pokemon. I know somebody said something to me about it, but I can't remember. Okay, so another electric type. Not gonna lie, kind of upset it's not Magikarp, but okay. So, let me take inventory here. Let me see what we got going on here. So, sad to say, Rockruff, you're not gonna join me. Although at the same time, I have the rare candies. So I could just level them up and see what they evolve into. See if they change type for the better. And wait. They really only have one tile to get through to the cave. Lovely. Alright, let's see what else is here. Maybe. There we go. What else is here? Whoa! What is that? You know what? Master Ball fits you. It's purple just like you. But what do I name this? Genesect? It looks like Genesect. Do I, do I just name it Genesect? I kind of want to. It's probably just going to say it's a Pokemon from an alternate universe. Yay! Uh, what do I name a Scyther? Um... Purple with... Uh, I feel like there's a good name out there, but I can't think of it. Do I just name it Tracy again because Tracy had a Scyther? No. Um... Armor... Scyther... Uh, you know what? I don't know why, but I like to name mons that with the same letter that their name starts with. So you are Susan the Scyther. I don't know why you're a Susan, but you are. Uh, you have an item. Interesting. Dragon Fang. <gasps> Bug Poison. I like it. I really like it. I'll probably have to sort out my box for what's actually going to be a team member and what isn't. Hello. Alright, so... So far from this side of town, I'm seeing Elekid, Rockruff, and Scyther. I'm assuming the Magby is still here as well. But I don't know. That Scyther looks so sick. Although at the same time... I don't know. This is probably, I don't want to say it's a little bit late, but it's kind of late for me to mention. But like, after I get finished with this game, I could probably just do random encounters to get shinies. Although, I haven't been finding shinies for some reason. I don't know if the rate is changed. I'm assuming it is, because I found a shiny Selpin. But like, I can do that for a stream technically. I don't know if that'd be something that people would want to watch because I typically don't shiny hunt. So, I don't know. So, yeah, that's pretty interesting. But I think, okay, one more encounter then. One more encounter here. Okay, and the game is starting to get fuzzy. Not really fuzzy, but just weird quality. Although the volume's down so low that you might not even hear it, but whatever. So, I think... With my skills of brilliant deduction, I am going to go in this cave, take a quick look around without finding anybody to battle, and see what's here. Is that a ghost Munchlax? It's not a ghost. It's an ice type. Okay. Interesting. Not really vibing with it. What's this? Bullet Seed. I could teach that to Combuskin, but I don't think I am. It already has some decent moves. Okay, Munchlax again. Cool, cool. Although at the same time, it's not really something that I would clear body. Huh. Yeah, I'll just... Get a quick look around and see what's in this area. And then Munchlax again. Are you serious? Dude. I found the Crystal Onyx. 
Do I want to check? Ember? It's the Crystal Onyx! Also, I killed it! Yay! Alright then. That was worth it for me. Okay, let me get out of here. So, that was pretty cool. And at the same time, I have an opportunity to capture an Onyx another time. Although at the same time, that'll be two mods that evolve with Metal Coat, typically. But, I don't know. Let me get a good look at what I have here. Um, yeah, that seems like a pretty good team. I think it's gonna have to be top priority to rename Combuskin. But... That's going to be it for this video. My laptop seems like it's having a little bit of issues, so I might give it a little bit of breathing room or just restart it or whatever and see what happens. But that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed, hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't. And if you have any tips, I guess to say, for this game, let me know. But I'm just looking forward to next episode because next episode, I'm going to find my Chimchar. Also, I don't know what she's doing, because she was literally on the rock. She's rock climbing extraordinaire. Cool. Let me get into studio mode so I can make this official. And there's no volume. That just makes things even more awkward. Oh, well. I hope you enjoyed. Momentai. Come on. Anytime you want to fade to black. I literally clicked it. Thank you.